little, I went on a holiday, a long, long way away. Don't forget Willy. Willy came too. When we arrived at the holiday, it was in a hotel. I was asleep. In the morning, I woke up. We were in a big room with stripy bits of sun. Mummy, where are we? We're on holiday, Tig, in Spain. Tig, come and see this. Help me open the shutters, said Daddy. Outside was our very own little balcony. Tig. Through the trees, I could see the sea. At breakfast time, we went onto the hotel roof. That's funny, I thought, having breakfast on the roof. Everything was different on holiday. After breakfast on the roof, we heard some shouting. Daddy said, hey Tig, come and look at this. Tig, come and see this. We looked round the corner and there was a swimming pool. That's funny, I thought. A swimming pool on the roof. <laughs> Mummy put sun cream on me and a big sun hat. Right, ready? Okay. Then we went out to explore. Everything was blue and green and white and beautiful. Nothing was quite the same. Mummy liked the shops. At one shop they sold dresses. They were pretty dresses, but they looked different. Hola, son vestidos muy bonitos. Would you like one? said Mummy. I wasn't sure. Everything was all a bit straight. Daddy found some ice cream. Egg, have you ever seen ice cream like this before? The ice cream was all different colours. Flavours. And piled up into mountains. We went to look at the sea. The sea was so big and blue. Way down below was a beach. There were fishing boats and straw umbrellas. We go in the telescope? Yeah. Don't we look through a telescope. Can you see anything? We could see fishermen and their fishing nets. Maybe we can go down on the beach for a swim soon, said Daddy. I wasn't sure. Everything was so different. Everything was so hot. Hey Tig, when you go on holiday and visit new places, nothing is ever quite the same. There are so many little differences. But that's what makes a holiday all the more fun. La 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 on my holidays, I go to new places, there's lots of new faces. On my holidays, the change is amazing, the sun can be blazing. On my holidays, I can't stop my smiling, I find it exciting. On my holidays, la 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 on your holidays, new sounds and the smells and the ringing of bells, tingling. On your holidays, you love all your holidays so different from every day. On your holidays, la 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 but this is my holiday. Daddy, can I get an ice cream? Yes, come on then. It's fun. Here we go. Hola, ¿quieres uno? The lady in the ice cream shop said, Hello, 
I like the lady. My ice cream was different. Mmm. But my ice cream was the best. We went for a swim on the road. There were other children swimming too. The children said hello. Hola. I like the other children. In the town, Mummy bought me the pretty dress. I liked everything different. Maybe you can look at I liked the lady at the shop. Gracias. But I didn't understand what she said. We went down to the beach. There were other children on the beach. The children said hello. When we had lunch, it was cooked on the beach. Paella, said Daddy. My favourite. There were lots of flames and bubbling. While we waited for the paella to cook, I played on the climbing frame. Hola. There were some other children. They said hello. I like the other children. When we ate the paella, it was so good. It had prawns and chicken and rice. Mm. The climbing frame children were sitting at a table next to me. They waved and said hello. I wanted to say hello too, but I didn't know how. Hey Tig, we're on holiday in Spain. Everyone here speaks in a different way to us. That's no worry. We can speak like them too. We can speak Spanish. See? See. What does everyone say to you? Hello. Hello. Hola. Hola. You understand. Hola is hello. Now you can say hola too. Hola. Yeah. La 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 la. can have even more holiday fun. I can talk to everyone. Hola. Hola, I said to my friends. Hola, my friends said to me. After lunch, I played on the beach with my friends. We talked lots. Siesta time, said Mummy. Siesta time. And adios. Adios. Goodbye, I waved to my friends. It was so hot. We had to sleep after our lunch. It's great. Two days for one in Spain? Two days for one, said Daddy. Everything was so different. That night, I wore my pretty new dress. Children were dancing. said my friends. Hola. There was so much dancing, laughing and clapping. Hola. When a man saw Wooly, he stamped his feet right. It's only a toy spider. I liked my holiday. I liked everything being different. And I love Wooly. We've been guesses to a thing. Christmas magic. When I was little, I liked Christmas time the best. At Christmas time, everything twinkled and sparkled and looked different and magic. One Christmas tree for Grandad. But there was one Christmas when we were going to have a very special Christmas day. Climbing up. One Christmas cake for Grandad. We were going to stay with Grandad. 
We are going to make Christmas magic for Grandad too. Yeah. I chose a special Christmas present for Grandad from me. It was a big, big Santa. Before we went to Grandad, we listened to Christmas carols. Carols were in a big, high place. When we came out of a big, high place, it was snowing. Oh, Santa will love this. Why? So the reindeer can pull a sleigh in the snow. The next day was Christmas Eve. It was all snowy. It was magical. Hooray! Santa can ride his sleigh. We put all the special things for Grandad's Christmas in the car. It was a long way to Grandad's. Mummy and me played I Spy. White and fluffy. Clowns. Counting cars. How many red cars you can see? One, two. And sang songs. I love Willie and Willie, Willie loves me. me. We've been together we since we were wee. It was a long way to Grandad. We had to stop for lunch in a little cafe. After the cafe, Mummy drove the car. Daddy and me played I Spy. White and crunchy. Snow. Yay! Counting cars. So if you see a blue car, we count, OK? One, two, and three, And sang songs. We play hide and we play run. We have funny, funny, funny fun. fun. Then Daddy fell asleep. Mummy, can you tell me a story? Uh, no, Teg, no, I've got to concentrate on driving. Outside, I couldn't see much, just snow. Are we there yet? Uh, no, Teg, not yet. It was a long way to Grandad. I was bored. Hey, Teg, long journeys can be boring when there's nothing to do. But there is something you can do all by yourself. You can make up a story. A finger and thumb story. A finger and thumb Christmas story. Your fingers and thumbs can be all the different people in the story. Yeah, that's right. Go for it, Tig. Have a think and tell yourself a story with your fingers and thumbs. Yes, I thought. I can tell myself a story. Once upon a time, Mummy and Daddy and we, Pinky Tig, walked through the snow. A reindeer came along, pulling a sleigh. In the sleigh was Santa. Santa looked just like Grandad. Then suddenly, we arrived at Grandad's house. It was like magic. I was so happy to see Grandad. Oh, happy Christmas Eve. The funny thing was, there was no snow now. Grandad, there's no snow. Oh, don't worry, Tig. Snow or no snow, Santa'll still get here. One Christmas tree for Grandad. Oh. Presents for Grandad. Can I open them now? No, not until tomorrow. We were bringing Christmas magic to Grandad. Our special Christmas Eve box. Oh. Mummy had a special Christmas Eve box. Grandad said I could open it. But I opened the box. There was a brand new pair of Christmas pajamas. A stocking to hang up for Santa. For all my presents. And some funny toys for us all to play with. Frog race. Oh, frog race. We'll go make this up. Come on then. Then Grandad and me had a race. Okay, Tech. We ready? One, two, three, go. Go! Oh! <laughs> After supper, I put in my new Christmas pajamas. Outside, there was still no snow. Biscuits for Santa. We need to leave them at the chimney. Oh, but look, Grandad doesn't have a chimney. Grandad needs to have a chimney. I know. Why don't we go and put it in the hall, OK? Come on, then, we'll go and leave it in the hall. Chimney or no chimney, Santa's still going to leave you presents. Grandad didn't have a chimney, so we left the biscuits at the front door. Yeah. I hung my stocking at the end of my bed. Mummy, how will Santa know I'm at Grandad's house, not my house? Because Santa will always know where you are, Tig. Right, come on, into bed. Santa will always know where you are, said Mummy. 
Mummy kissed me. Night, night. But I couldn't go to sleep. I was worried. There was no snow for Santa's sleigh. No chimney for Santa to climb down. And did Santa know I was staying at Grandad's? Hey, Tig. It's a worry to wonder how Santa will visit with no snow, no chimney, and not knowing where you are staying. But hey, sometimes things just happen. That's the magic. Especially when Grandad says, snow or no snow, Santa will still get here. Especially when Daddy says, chimney or no chimney, Santa will still bring presents. Especially when Mummy says, Santa will always know where you are. I want to see Santa. Hey, I'm sure Santa wants to see you too. But for magic to happen, there's no peeping. If you peep, it wouldn't be magic. Go for it, Tig. Pop into bed and snug down to sleep. Think of cosy, happy thoughts. And soon it will be Christmas Day. Close your eyes for sleepy buys. Float all fluffy and light. Smiles and kisses and giggles and hugs will snooze you through the night. Think of where you'd like to be. Wiggling toes in sandy sea. Snow Soft or cosy and sweet Counting kisses and trees Sleepy tight Yes, I thought No peeping And then it was Christmas Day My room was filled with snowflakes It was magic at the end of the bed was my stocking filled by Santa. Merry Christmas, Tig. Merry oh, Christmas. Oh. Wow, so Santa found you. I thought you would. Have you gone? Around the Christmas tree, we opened more presents. Best of all was giving Mummy her present from me. Oh, my goodness, I love these. Oh, lovely. Very nice. What is it? Best of all was it? giving Daddy his present from me. Oh, I love it. It suits you. Best of all was giving Grandad his present from me. Oh! <laughs> his very own Santa. Just like you, Grandad. I think it looks a bit like me. My best present was my magic set from Grandad. No, it's Ted's magic show. After lunch, I did a magic show. No peeping, I said. It wouldn't be magic if you do. Abracadabra! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are going to do the most amazing trick. Whoa. There's an empty hat. <laughs> liked making Christmas magic for Grandad. There's an empty hat. I love Willy. We beat guesses to a Harvest supper! When I was little, my friend Duncan had a farm. He had a combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had a farm too. Duncan's daddy had a big Big combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had fields that grew things that were harvested by the combine harvester. One day, we went to Duncan's farm for harvest supper. Daddy said harvest supper was a party. Say yippee for all the things that grew in the farm. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Harvest supper day was the last day of the harvest and the last day for the combine harvester. Willie came too. Mummy said, 
the other things for the supper, we're growing on the farm. Look, Tig, all the food here for the harvest supper has been grown on the farm. So Wheat for the bread. And apples for the apple juice. Apple for the juice. Right, Tig, why don't you go upstairs and play with Duncan and I'll give Rebecca a hand. Good girl. Duncan was playing on his little farm. I drove the tractor. I collected the hay bales. Deep break for the farmers. Then Duncan's mummy gave us juice and oaty flapjacks. Those are oaty flapjacks and guess what? The oats are grown here on the farm. Mummy said the oaty flapjacks were grown on the farm too. The oaty flapjacks were so good. I wanted to see them harvested. Outside, Duncan's daddy drove off on his big, big combine harvester. Come on, said Mummy. Harvest time. I wanted to see the Oti flapjacks. I was so excited. Daddy wanted to make a scarecrow. We watched as Duncan's daddy drove the big, big combine harvester. But I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. We watched as the combine emptied grain. But I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. We watched as straw came out of the back. But I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. OK, time to make a scarecrow, said Daddy. Where are the Oti flapjacks? Where are the Oti flapjacks? In the kitchen, said Mummy. They grow in the fields. No, just the oats for the oaty flapjacks grow in the fields. No oaty flapjacks. Hey Tig, it's not nice when you expect to see something and then you don't. No oaty flapjacks. Especially if they're oaty flapjacks. But sometimes when we don't quite understand, things can get mixed up. But Mummy said, Willie. Mummy said that oats grew in the field, not that oaty flapjacks grew in the field. Oaty flapjacks don't grow, oaty flapjacks are made. Oaty flapjacks are made from the oats that grow. What we can see is the oats that grow being harvested. That's the fun. The oat grains poured into the trailer and then we have the leftover straw dropped out of the combine harvester to make the scarecrow. <laughs> so go for it, Tig. Have some harvest fun. Make a scarecrow. Yes, I thought. I'm going to have some harvest fun now. I'm going to help make the scarecrow. We all collected the leftover straw from the combine harvester. We had fun stuffing old clothes. We tied the stuffed clothes to a pole. We filled an old pillowcase with straw too. Yeah. There we go, right, let's have a wee look. Duncan's mummy drew eyes. I drew a mouth. That's excellent, that's brilliant. We carried the scarecrow back to the farm. We were having the harvest supper in a shed. Daddy popped the scarecrow inside. My hat. Lots of people came to the harvest supper. The giggly lady brought some eggs. Everyone brought something. Vegetables, honey, sunflowers, pictures. My friend Louise brought a picture of a sandcastle. Mummy pinned it up next to my picture of the sea. Duncan's mummy gave us all a corn dolly made of straw. I had one and Louise had one. Duncan's daddy finished harvesting. Everything had been harvested. Now we could have our harvest supper. I told Louise that the harvest supper was all grown on the farm. Everything that we're eating is grown on the farm. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can I propose a toast to the farmer Duncan and to the harvest? The harvest! After supper, it was time to take our scarecrow to the fields. When I looked for my corn dolly, Louise had taken it. Louise, this is my corn dolly. That is yours. Yours, mine. The one nearest to my bread, that's Louise. Lu Louise, that's my corn dolly. No, it isn't, it's mine. Louise had taken my corn dolly. No, but isn't that your one? No, that's Louise's. But they're exactly the same. No, no, no. It's just a little thing. Don't worry about it. Hey, Tig, when you know you're right, it's not fair that someone else thinks you're wrong. Louise has my corn dolly. But Louise is quite sure she's right too. Who's right? Who's wrong? Well, who can say? Just everyone looks in different ways. Wee! One way you'll see the darkness, one way you'll see the light. Depends which way you're looking, if it's sunrise or the night. One way you'll see the waves break, one way you'll see the sand. Depends which way you're looking, if you're by the sea or land. Hey, stop spoiling all the fun and messing up the day. What matters most is getting on and joining. up the day. I wanted to join in the fun. Daddy put up the new scarecrow in a field. The scarecrow might frighten crows, but the scarecrow seemed scared of Wooly. It's only a toy spider. Then we all I like my corn dolly and I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were three. Subway. When I was little, I liked going on the subway train. Wooly likes going on the subway train too. It was fun going down under the ground. It was scary and exciting. When the train rumbled and roared out of the tunnel, it squeaked and hissed and stopped. It was like magic when the door slid open and we got on. I was so happy rattling and shuggling through the tunnels on the subway train. I loved the subway train. Wooly loved the subway train too. One day my friend Angel came to play. We played subway trains all day. We drew pictures of subway trains. We made tunnels for the subway trains. Wooly pretended to be a train. How about you build tunnels all around the room and then you can be the subway trains? Yeah. yeah. I think that's good. Be Mummy gave us lots of old sheets. And blankets. We made tunnels all over the place. We hooted and went through our tunnels. 
Sometimes we bumped. Mummy likes our fun. Who wants to go on a real subway? Who wants a ride on a real subway? Before we left, we played sliding doors. Thank you. We played subway trains all the way to the station. OK, we have to be sensible now. We're going to go on a real subway, so no more playing. When we got to the station, we played sliding doors. No more playing, oh, said Mummy. But me and Angel were having now, fun. Then Mummy stopped us. She no stood between play. us, okay, we so we couldn't play. Come on, said Mummy. Going underground wasn't fun anymore. The subway train wasn't exciting. There was no magic. Mummy had spoiled our fun. Hey, Tig, it doesn't seem fair when someone spoils your fun. It's not nice when someone stops your game. But there are some places where it's wrong to play. There are some places where you need to take special care. The subway is no place to run around and play. Everywhere on the subway, things are moving. The escalator's going up and down. Trains arriving and leaving. Doors opening and closing. People coming and going. So Mummy isn't spoiling your fun. Mummy is taking special care of you and Angel. But hey, Tig, that doesn't mean you can't still have fun and enjoy the ride. Just sit back and relax. No need to play a game when you have all the fun of a real train. Go for it, Tig. Say sorry to Mummy and no more train games until you're home again. Yes, I thought. Mummy was right. A real subway is no place to play. Sorry, Mummy, I said. Oh, thank you, Tig. <laughs> Mummy let me and Angel sit together. We had fun on the real subway train. Just looking and shiggling along. When we got home, we played subway trains again. When Mummy saw Willy, she nearly <gasps> fell over. It's only a toy spider. I like subway trains. And I love Willy. We Quiet. When I was little, my mummy took me to play with my friends. We walked through a wood to the playground. Willy came too. We get to the special clearing. The wood was quiet. The wood had trees. The trees were tall. I liked looking high up in the trees. They touched the sky. When the wind blew. The leaves swished. When the wind stopped blowing, the leaves stopped rattling, and it was very quiet. Some leaves had fallen off the trees. We walked on the leaves. Hi, hi, can you kick them? I kicked the leaves. Mummy kicked the leaves too. We kicked the leaves. It was fun. We made lots of noise. When we stopped kicking leaves, it was very quiet. On the way to see my friends, we heard a roaring noise. It was a waterfall. The water fell over and rushed and gushed into a river. The waterfall made so much noise, we shouted. When we left the waterfall, it was quiet. We climbed steps up a little hill. Timmy and Louise and Angel should be here soon, said Mummy. From the top of the hill, we could see a ship in the trees. We made lots of noises. Timmy! Angel! Is there anyone there? When we stopped shouting, it was very quiet. 
We found some planks. We will wait here, said Mummy. Timmy, Louise and Angel will be here any minute, so why don't we wait here for them? I didn't like waiting. It was quiet, very quiet. I didn't like the quiet. Hey, Tig, the quiet can be boring. And the quiet can be scary too. The quiet can make you think there's nothing there. But the quiet isn't quite as quiet as you may think. Shh! You just have to listen a little more. And when you listen, you can hear lots of friendly sounds. A bird singing. A pigeon cooing. A dog barking. Woof, woof. The leaves tinkling in the breeze. A twig breaking. <laughs> That's your mummy. So go for it, Tig. Have fun in the quiet and listen to all the different sounds. You might even hear Timmy and Louise before Mummy does. Yes, I thought. I listened to all the different sounds. <laughs> and then I heard the sound I'd been waiting for. Mummy, I can hear Timmy, Louise and Angel. Oh, right, let's go and find them then. Hi. Hi. Angel, Timmy and Louise. Hello. <laughs> we explored all the adventure playthings. We made lots of noise in the wood. There wasn't any quiet while we played. When Whirly slid down the slide, Angel's mummy got a shot. It's only a toy spider. When we walked home, it was quiet again in the wood. I like the quiet and I love Whirly. We've been scared since we were here we are Panda. At the zoo. When I was little, my daddy took me to see the animals at the zoo. I wanted to see a panda. Right, Tig, this is where we get the safari bus. We're going to have to wait for a bit. We well, had uh, to wait for a special we'll bus back. to see the animals. Look at all the toy We waited animals. in a little shop. Do you know what? Can you name it? There are lots of toy animals in the shop. I didn't want a toy animal. I have Willy. Let's go see what's right then I saw some pandas. Hi. Daddy, can I get a panda? Can I have what? a toy panda, Daddy? Toy panda. I'm going to go and see a real panda. Please, Daddy. No, Tig, said Daddy. I was grumpy. Come on, said Daddy. Here's the bus. Let's go and wait in the bus now. I think it's just coming. Yep. The bus was all stripy, but I didn't want to go in the stripy bus. I wanted a panda. I was grumpy. We saw lots of different animals. Wallabies. Pink flamingos. An African wild dog. We saw a chimp. Up and up the hill we went. We saw a cow. Daddy was excited. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. When we got off the bus, we saw a tiger. We saw a panther. We saw a big lion. We saw a leopard, but Daddy didn't see. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. We've got to play. Right, we went over a wooden bridge. Take. This is us walking through. To a little hut. Daddy didn't look at me. Daddy looked at zebras. This is just like Africa, said Daddy. Tig, it's just like the African plains. I was grumpy. Hey Tig, it's not nice when you want something and you can't have it. It can make you feel grumpy. But hey, Tig, being grumpy can stop you enjoying what you do have. Whee! Being grumpy stops you seeing all the amazing things around you. 
The real animals that you've never seen before. The zebras. The flamingos. Whee! The lions. The tigers. Whee! And the pandas. Not toy pandas, but real pandas. So go for it, Tig. Have a look at the real pandas. And hey, Tig, if you want a cuddly toy, you've always got me. Yes, I thought. I don't want to be grumpy. Yes, Tig. Daddy, I'm sorry. I oh. haven't got a toy panda, but I'm going to see a real panda. See the, is this where the pandas are? I like seeing the panda. The panda eats a lot of food. When the panda saw Willy, he just looked. It's only a toy spy that's salty. Then the panda went to sleep. Always go back to sleep. Night night. At the shop, right. Daddy said, Do you want here. a toy panda now, Tig? No, I said. I've seen a real panda. But my ears might get cold. I want earmuffs. Can I please have panda earmuffs instead? I like the real panda. I like real animals. It's good fun, isn't it? I love Willie. We've been together since we were me. The mountain. When I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain, I said. It's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. And sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie we'll came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Yeah. Ready, I said. And off we went to climb the mountain. You excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. I like climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake didn't look big anymore. Can I have a sandwich? I said. Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Tig, there'll be none left. Please, I said. Just one. I eat another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but look the top. There's the top of the mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. This is the last tomato sandwich, OK? I ate the last tomato sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. What? No, I said. No more tomato sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I'll have my egg sandwiches, and then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig, look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way. So you feel tired, but when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. You feel so happy, so pleased, and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! 
And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one, two. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there. One more step and there's not many more. Go for it, Tig. It feels great to finish what you started. Yes, I thought. I want to finish what I started. I want to go to the top. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. But then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Woolly, she got a fright. It's only a toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Holding hands. When I was little, I liked my nursery school. Different things happened every day. One day, Miss Claire, my nursery teacher, took us all to the gym at the big school. Now we need to make sure we all hold hands at all times. We held hands. I held hands with Louise. Now we're going to cross some roads, said Miss Claire. We had to look and listen for the traffic. We held hands and waited for the green man. The traffic stopped and the green man came on. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, said Miss Claire. What do we do? When we came to what another road, there was no there? green man. Take extra care, said Miss Claire. We'll find a safe place where we can see all the roads. When there was no traffic, Miss Claire said it was safe to cross. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, said Miss Claire. The big school was big. The gym was big too. There was lots of room to play. Claire made an obstacle course. Right, On the way back, we crossed all the roads again. I looked and listened and held hands. I did everything Claire told me. After school, my daddy came to collect me, to take me to the library. Daddy! <gasps> Miss Claire told daddy that I had been very grown up and sensible at crossing the roads. I felt pleased. I felt like a big girl. I'll take my hand. No. Why not? Because I'm a big girl. Hold my hand, said daddy. No, I said. Tig. When the green man turned to green, Daddy picked me up and carried me across the road. We came to another road. Right, Tig, we need to cross the road. Take my hand, please. No. Hold my Why hand. Not? I am a Daddy picked me up right. and carried me straight Tig. across the road. Right. I was not happy. Roads, okay? In Come the on. library, I was cross. Do you want to choose a book, to choose said a book. Daddy. No. No, I said and Why sat with Wooly. I was very up. cross. Hey, Tig. It's not nice being treated like a little girl just when you think you are a big and sensible girl. It's not nice being told what to do when you think you know everything. But just because you know how to cross a road safely doesn't mean that Daddy should let you do it all by yourself. Boom, boom, honk, honk, beep, beep. <coughs> Roads are busy places. Holding Daddy's hand lets him know you're safe. Holding Daddy's hand lets you know he's safe too. Then you can both look. Beep, beep. And listen without any worries. You can cross the road safely together. 
So go for it, Tig. Be clever and say sorry to Daddy and hold his hand all the way home. Beep, beep. Yes, I thought. I'll be clever. Sorry, Daddy. Oh. And say sorry to Daddy. On, Daddy and me chose a library book. The library lady got a shock when she saw Willy. <gasps> it's only a tight spider. I held Daddy's hand all the way home. I like to be safe. I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Dobbin. When I was little, my auntie Shona works at a riding school. There were horses at the riding school. Hi, Shona. I didn't like the horses. When I visited my auntie Shona, I stayed in the car. Hi, Tig. You're not coming to see the horses? No. Auntie Shona worked very hard at the stables, wheeling muck and stuff. Lovely. Teaching children to ride. Lovely girls. I liked my Auntie Shona. Willie liked my Auntie Shona too. One day we had some washing for Auntie Shona. I sat in the car. I didn't like horses. Hello, Tig. Then I saw a horse that I hadn't seen before. Who's that? Oh, that's Dobbin. The horse was very friendly. Bye, Shona. Bye. The next time we saw Shona, I said, Can I see Dobbin? Come on Dobbin. then, said Shona. Dobbin was gentle. Dobbin, Dobbin was friendly. Dobbin let me stroke him. I like Dobbin. Dobbin was beautiful. I wasn't scared of horses anymore. I said hello to all the other horses. But I loved Dobbin the best. One day I saw children riding horses. Can I ride Dobbin? Dobbin's too old to ride, said Shona. We have a new horse arriving next week. He's just the right size for you. Next week, when I arrived, I wanted to see Dobbin. We asked Dobbin. Where's Dobbin, I said. Dobbin isn't here just now. Dobbin isn't here, said Auntie Shona. Auntie Shona showed me my new riding hat. Okay. Where is Dobbin? Dobbin's gone away, said Shona. When can I see Dobbin again? I said. You won't be seeing Dobbin again. Dobbin died. But where did Dobbin go? I said. He went to sleep. Dobbin just went to sleep, said Shona. He was very happy. Right. Time for your riding lesson, said Shona. I don't want to go riding. Auntie Shona sniffed and went to fetch Daddy. I was sad. I was very sad. Hey Tig, nothing wrong with feeling sad. Nothing wrong with crying. Auntie Shona is sad and she's crying. But hey, Dobbin is happy now. Dobbin had had a great life at the stables. Everyone loved him. But Dobbin was very old and his legs hurt him. But now there's no more hurt and he's happy. He's galloping away in his dreams. You'll never forget Dobbin. Dobbin helped you to like horses. And today, Dobbin is helping you for your very first riding lesson. So go for it, Tig. Feel sad, but happy for Dobbin. Whee! But most of all, have fun on your first riding lesson. Dobbin would love that. Yes, I thought. Dobbin showed me how to like horses and not be scared. Dobbin would want me to have fun. Riding on my very first horse. I put on my riding hat. Ready, I said. The new horse was called Topper. I like Topper. When Shona saw Wooly, she said, Ah, it's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. 
I like riding Topper. I love Dobbin. And I love Willie. We've been scared since we were three. Echoes. When I was little, me and my friend Timmy went to visit a castle. Willie came too. Daddy knocked on the door, but no one answered. Oops, I think you got the wrong time. We'll come back later, let's go and have a wee play, come on. The castle's closed. We have to wait. The castle had a big, tall tower. Up there is the castle tower. Yeah, soldiers used to be up there. That tower's for soldiers, said Timmy. Timmy marched like a soldier, and I copied him. Time to march into the castle, said Daddy. A man opened the door for us. Hello, can we come and see the castle? Uh, yes, please come inside, yes. Come on then. Thank you. Inside the castle, it was empty. Just walls. It smelt funny. And this is, I see the fireplace. The fire would rise and smoke would come out the chimney up there. Be careful on the steps. Timmy found a little room. It was a friendly little room with cupboards on the wall. I wonder what's in this door. Hmm. I like the little friendly room. Yeah. Look, there's a wee window, right? Can we go up the tower, please? Can we go up the tower? Said Timmy. Of course, said Daddy. Timmy opens a big door. Ooh. I heard a woo. I didn't like the woo. Daddy said the woo was Timmy. It's just an echo, OK? Don't be scared. I didn't like the echo. I was frightened. I ran back to the little friendly room. Hey, Tig. New things can be scary and strange. And there's lots of new strange things in a big old castle like this. Strange smells, strange rooms, and strange sounds. Hey Tig, that woo sounded strange. That woo sounded scary. Woo! But that woo was just Timmy having fun. In a big old empty castle like this, sounds sound different because they echo. Cooey! It sounds like someone is copying me. No one's copying me. That's just my echo sound. I made it. And you can have fun making echoes too. Woo! So go for it, Tig. There's no woos behind that door, only the woos that you and Timmy make. Yes, I thought. No need to be scared. Just silly echoes. Come on. I wanted to go up the tower. Daddy opened the door into the woo room. There were no woos. So me and Sammy had fun making woos. We made lots of other echo sounds. Hello! Then Daddy took us up the tower. We went up some tiny stairs that went round and round and up and up. At the top of the stairs was the top of the tower. Timmy marched round the tower. When Timmy saw Willy, ah! he was a scaredy woo. It's only a toy spider. I like the old castle. I like funny woos. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were three. When I was little, my daddy took me on a train. Willie came too. Hello there. Uh, we had to buy tickets for the train. Daddy gave me my very own train ticket. At 
the front of the train was a steam engine. I'd never seen a steam engine before. The steam engine whistled. I was scared. Oh, okay. Daddy was excited. He took lots of pictures with his camera. A man blew a whistle. Come on, Tig, said Daddy. Inside the train, we had our own little room with big armchairs. Woohoo! Chuff, chuff, chuff. I was so happy. This was the best day ever. Clash, clash, clash. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Clash, clash, clash. Hello oh, there, tickets, please. Tickets, please, said the man. <laughs> Through the country. Chip, chip, chip. Under the bridge. Chip, chip, chip. I love the train. Chip, chip, chip. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go and explore. We found a little shop. Orange juice, please. An orange juice? Daddy bought me a juice. Bye, see you later. This was the best day ever. <gasps> Up the hill we chuffed. Daddy said the engine driver would need to shovel lots of coal. I was so happy. The train chuffed into a little station. Daddy and me got off the train. Good girl. Time for lunch before we go home, said Daddy. Home, I thought. I don't want to go home. Daddy and me had lunch. It was the best day ever. I didn't want the day to end. Time to go home, said Daddy. No, I thought. I don't want to go home. Maybe if I had Daddy's camera for a little, then the day might go on for a little longer. So I hid Daddy's camera under a tree. Where's my camera? Maybe it's in the bin. Maybe I put it in the bin. Oops, Daddy's in a tease, Tig. Poor Daddy. Hey, Tig, when you're having the best day ever, thinking of it ending can make you feel sad and cross. But best days don't just end, they can be there forever. A best day is for remembering. A best day is for talking about to mummy. A best day is for seeing all over again when you look at daddy's pictures. Oops. And this best day you can carry away with you. Your very own train ticket to remind you of all you did. And hey, and there's more fun to come. Woo -woo! Chuff, 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 chuff. Go for it, Tig. Help Daddy and say sorry. Then you can have more of your best day together. Yes, I thought. I was making Daddy sad. I wanted us both to have the best day ever. I said sorry to Daddy for hiding his camera. We were happy again. Oh, well, there. Do you have tickets? I showed Wooly to the ticket man. Oh, dear me, what is that? It's only my toy spider, I said. I love remembering my best day ever. And I love Wooly. We've been together since we were three. Sandcastle. Right, Tig, where shall we put When I was little, our base camp? I went to the seaside. We had buckets and spades and a picnic. Oh. Willie came too. Okay. There was sand everywhere. <laughs> Mummy and me ran down to the sea. Mummy showed me how to draw pictures in the sand. Mummy drew a mermaid. We gave the mermaid lots of shells and seaweed hair. Tick! Picnic time! Daddy made a picnic. We had sandwiches.
languages. There's not sand in your sandwich, is there? There was sand in my sandwich. Shall we go back down to the beach and see that mermaid? Come on. Come on, Tig. After the picnic, we looked at the mermaid. The mermaid was gone. Just see. She must have swam away, said Mummy. Come on, Tig. Let's go make a sandcastle. OK, it's time to build the sandcastle, said Daddy. We built a real sand castle with our buckets and spades. We made a big hill of sand, we patted the sands and made the hill smooth. We filled our buckets with sand and emptied them all over the hill. Wow! We made windows in the castle with shells and flags with seaweed. Looks just like a mermaid's castle. Looks like a mermaid's castle, said Mummy. I love my mermaid sand castle. Willie loved it too. When it was time to go, I wanted to take my sand castle home. No, Tig. The sand belongs on the beach. No, said Mummy. Tig. Why don't you go and get Willie? I didn't want to leave my sand castle. The sea might wash it away. I want to live with my mermaid castle forever. Hey, Tig! Whee! I know it's sad leaving things behind you like. It's glum leaving things you had so much fun making. But some things belong where they are. Sand castles belong on the sandy beach by the sea. If everyone took their sand castles away, there'd be no sand left to play for another day. A hill, a pool, a starfish, an octopus. Who knows? Swish, what magic shape. Swish, the sand will make tomorrow. Swish. But today we have... Da -da -da -da! We have your mermaid and her castle. So go for it, Tig. Wave bye-bye to your mermaid and her castle and let them go back to the sea where they belong. Yes, I thought. My mermaid and her castle belong to the sea. Bye-bye, mermaid. Bye-bye, castle. On our way back to the car, Willie and me chased Daddy. Daddy thought Willy was an octopus. It's only my toy spider, I said. Come on, Tig, come on. I loved my day at the seaside. I loved my mermaid and her castle. And I love Willy. I love Willy and Willy loves me. We've been together since we were wee. He's my spider.